Hello, my friend. In the 90s sitcom era, amid laughter in living rooms, a tribute to unforgettable stars who illuminated the small screen with comedic brilliance emerges. Shockingly, 10 actors from that beloved era, leaving fans to grapple with the bittersweet reality of their departures. Join us in this heartfelt exploration as we celebrate the indelible mark these actors left on the landscape. John Ritter was born on September 17, 1948, in Burbank, California, USA. He was an American actor and comedian, best known for his role as Jack Tripper in the television series Three's Company. Ritter's career spanned several decades, and he achieved widespread recognition for his talent in both comedic and dramatic roles. Apart from Three's Company, he appeared in numerous television shows and movies, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Tragically, John Ritter passed away on September 11, 2003, at the age of 54. The cause of his death was an aortic dissection, a rare and serious medical condition involving the tearing of the inner layer of the aorta. John Ritter's legacy includes not only his memorable contributions to the entertainment industry, but also the impact he had on his peers and fans. Actually, there was a mogul in the snow that I tripped over, Don Oldmeyer, lying face down. Uh, then my, my ligament was torn and I had to have um, surgery and... Uh, James Avery was born on November 27, 1945, in Atlantic City, New Jersey, USA. He was a versatile American actor and voice actor, best known for his iconic role as Uncle Phil Banks on the popular sitcom The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, which ran from 1990 to 1996. Avery's career spanned over several decades and he made significant contributions to both television and film. Apart from his memorable role on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, he lent his distinctive voice to numerous animated characters, including Shredder in the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series. Tragically, James Avery passed away on December 31, 2013 at the age of 68. The cause of his death was complications from open heart surgery. James Avery's legacy includes a rich body of work that continues to be celebrated by fans worldwide. Uh... I found out that it was it was one of the few things and the people and perfect strangers for within four to six weeks you two would be could be Yvette Wilson was born on March 6, 1964, in Los Angeles, California, USA. She was a talented actress, comedian, and writer known for her contributions to the entertainment industry. Yvette Wilson's career took off in the 1990s when she gained recognition for her role as Andel Wilkerson on the sitcom Moesha and its spin-off, The Parkers. She showcased her comedic skills and became a beloved figure among fans. Unfortunately, Yvette Wilson passed away on June 14, 2012, at the age of 48. She battled cervical cancer and kidney disease, which ultimately led to her untimely death. Her legacy includes memorable performances on screen, bringing joy and laughter to audiences. And we were platonic friends, and then we lost touch for a few years, and then my mom passed two years ago, and he found me. I was back home with my dear friends, uh, Stacy, Buffy, and Nikki, and we, um, it was a party for... Lee Thompson Young was born on February 1, 1984, in Columbia, South Carolina, USA. He was an American actor known for his role as Jet Jackson in the Disney Channel series, The Famous Jet Jackson. Young began his career as a teenager and gained recognition for his talent. Besides his role in the famous Jet Jackson, he appeared in various television shows and movies, including Friday Night Lights and Aquila and the Bee. Tragically, Lee Thompson Young passed away on August 19, 2013, at the age of 29. His death was ruled as a suicide. The news of his passing shocked many in the entertainment industry and his fans. Despite his untimely death, Lee Thompson Young left behind a legacy of talent and memorable performances. I think that, yeah, it does put a lot of stress on the guys. You know, I met a lot of kids here who, you know, you know positive benefits to, to really dedicating yourself to something like that and, and achieving something. Earl Hindman was born on October 20, 1942 in Bisbee, Arizona, USA. He was an American actor best known for his role as Wilson W.E. Wilson Jr., the wise and mysterious neighbor on the television sitcom Home Improvement, which aired from 1991 to 1999. Heinemann's career in acting spanned several decades and he appeared in various TV shows, films and stage productions. Before his notable role in Home Improvement, he had established himself as a respected character actor. Unfortunately, Earl Heinemann passed away on December 29, 2003 at the age of 61. 
The cause of his death was lung cancer. Despite the fact that his face was often hidden by the fence on home improvement, Heinemann's deep voice and acting talent left a lasting impression on audiences. Answer the question, the burning question, is there really a lower part of my face? I mean, the fame is fleeting. Because it is fleeting, we have to honor those people who have made our success. Sarah Danielle Madison was born on September 6, 1974, in Chicago, Illinois, USA. She was an American actress known for her work in both television and film. Madison's career began in the 1990s, and she gained recognition for her roles in popular TV shows such as Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, and Seventh Heaven. She also appeared in films like Little Giants and The Rainmaker. Tragically, Sarah Danielle Madison passed away on September 27, 2014, at the age of 40. The cause of her death was reported as complications from lupus. Lupus is a chronic autoimmune disease that can affect various parts of the body. World, into the world of marketing. And I'm hanging out here in Miami. The, the, the cream of the cream of the cream. Lamont Bentley was born on October 25, 1973 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA. He was an American actor best known for his role as Hakeem Campbell on the television series Moesha. Bentley began his acting career in the early 1990s and gained recognition for his work in various TV shows and movies. Apart from Moesha, he appeared in series like The Parkers, South Central, and movies like Tales from the Hood and The Wash. Tragically, Lamont Bentley passed away on January 19, 2005 in Ventura County, California, Following a car accident, the actor was only 31 years old at the time of his death. The legacy he left behind includes his contributions to the entertainment industry, particularly his memorable performances in television and film. That stuff, man, it's just a new experience for me. It's a learning experience. And, you know, it's, a lot, it's a lot easier when you come to work here, and that's a good thing. Uh, Michelle Thomas was born on September 23, 1968, in Boston, Massachusetts, USA. She was a talented actress and accomplished singer. Thomas began her career as a child actor, making appearances in various television shows. However, she gained widespread recognition for her role as Justine Phillips in the popular sitcom Family Matters, where she appeared from 1989 to 1998. Her career continued to flourish with roles in other TV shows and films, showcasing her versatility as an actress. Unfortunately, Michelle Thomas passed away on December 22, 1998, at the age of 30 due to a rare form of stomach cancer. Her untimely death was a shock to the entertainment industry and her fans. Lisa Robin Kelly was born on March 5, 1970, in Southington, Connecticut, USA. She was an American actress best known for her role as Laurie Foreman on the popular television series That 70s Show. Kelly's career in the entertainment industry began in the late 1990s, and she gained recognition for her performance on That 70s Show, where she portrayed the older sister of Eric Foreman, played by Topher Grace. Her character, Laurie Foreman, was known for her rebellious and promiscuous nature, adding a dynamic element to the show. Unfortunately, Lisa Robin Kelly faced personal struggles, including issues with substance abuse which affected her career. She experienced legal troubles and was arrested multiple times. Tragically, she passed away on August 15, 2013, at the age of 43. But the cause of death was reported as multiple drug intoxication. I have paid my dudes. And if I Dustin Diamond, best known for his role as Screech Powers on the television series Saved by the Bell, was born on January 7, 1977, in San Jose, California, USA. His career began in the late 80s when he landed the iconic role on the popular teen sitcom. However, he faced challenges as he tried to distance himself from his Screech persona. His career didn't reach the same heights as the show that made him famous. Tragically, Dustin Diamond passed away on February 1, 2021, at the age of 44. The cause of death was announced as stage of lung cancer. His death came just a few weeks after his diagnosis, shocking fans and colleagues alike. Thing happened after that, uh, um, People Magazine, things like that, where I wasn't part of the cast. I wasn't part. This is, it's all I know. I mean, I've been doing it, you know, acting and, and performing for. Sincere thanks to all the loyal viewers who have watched this entire video. If you enjoyed this content and would like to show your support, please click the subscribe button 
like this video and share it with your friends. Your support truly means a lot to us. Stay tuned for more interesting then and now stories coming soon. Until next time.